KM970 deals with end and noise in a uh, very special way. It reduces all the noise because we have a very good directivity. So the eight capsule system, the line array system makes a very special directivity. So 30 degrees in the vertical axis and 120 in the horizontal axis. And we use only very good miniature uh, small diaphragm microphones capsules for this, which have also a good self noise. And uh, now we have a new developed KM system, it's a KM975. And there you have also better directivity for low frequencies. It uses a 9th capsule, a delta capsule system, and so you have a frequency independent uh, directivity index uh, of 9 dB. The new model, the CMV563, which was developed in the 1950, uh, uses the EF86 now. And of course it is a pentode and we work as a triode. Uh, and in the past we had the EC92, but uh, this model is not so easy to get anymore. So we switched to our standard tube preamplifier with the EF86. Now to find a good tube is very difficult. You get a lot of tubes and you, there are a lot of manufacturers now, again, also from Russia and from everywhere, but we now find a good uh, supplier for us. We tested all the tubes before we uh, used them, and that means we heated them for 24 hours or more. Then uh, we test them with a measurement system, we test all the technical data from the tube, and uh, then we have uh, somebody who listens to every tube, and after this uh, we installed the tube in the microphone after we found the right tube and uh, at the end we have again three uh, uh, controls one measurement of the complete microphone one guy is again listening to the microphone and uh, one somebody is looking to the microphone and after this we have a finished tube microphone but you can say the ef86 uh, that we use in, in our standard tube preamplifiers uh, is a very stable tube, so we have only 10% bad tubes uh, from the tubes that we get. Yeah, in fact, the UM900 is a model which uses the M7 capsule, the traditional, that we also produce in our company since, uh, since ever. <laughs> and uh, this M7 has, uh, from the capsule side, a very slice um, to the higher frequencies. So um, that was one reason for the frequency response of the UM900. And the other thing is the combination with the special design. The idea was uh, to get a similar model to the old ones, like we now have the CM5, uh, CMV563. And so the combination with this grid design and the M7 capsule makes this uh, special uh, frequency response. And so you can say it's very good optimized for a vocal microphone for studio applications. Mm -hmm.